another commonly given formula for mean arterial pressure, is not meant to calculate a number, but to account for variables of the cardiovascular system that can affect mean arterial pressure. This formula is as follows. Mean arterial pressure equals heart rate times stroke volume times total peripheral resistance. Since it is impossible to calculate a number for the total peripheral resistance to blood flow throughout the body, this formula is not useful to calculate mean arterial pressure. What this formula is demonstrating is the relationship between heart rate, stroke volume, and total peripheral resistance in relation to mean arterial pressure. What can be determined from this formula is that an increase in one variable leads to an increase in mean arterial pressure. For example, during exercise, both heart rate and stroke volume increase. As a result, mean arterial pressure increases during exercise. One key component regulating total peripheral resistance is the radius or diameter of the blood vessel. For example, if an atherosclerotic lesion grows in a blood vessel, this will decrease the radius of the blood vessel, increasing the total peripheral resistance. For more information on atherosclerosis, see the video on atherosclerosis on this channel. By increasing the total peripheral resistance, mean arterial pressure increases. These variables demonstrate how the condition of the cardiovascular system regulates mean arterial pressure. Thus, while mean arterial pressure can be calculated, Mean arterial pressure also changes from a resting to an exercising state, and from a healthy to a diseased cardiovascular system. If you liked this video, please subscribe to our channel to see more. Thanks for watching.